Hey, 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 what's happening, YouTube? Yep, it is uh, Daddy Beige or BJ. So you can call me. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video, and this is actually a re upload of my last video regarding uh, the use of uh, dual sticks Log Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. So it's these bad boys right here. Uh, so it is a dual stick setup. Um, uh, just to tell you a little bit about these sticks, these are flight sticks. Um, as you can see, uh, unfortunately, um, they are both, oh, if you can see it, yeah, they are both um, for the right hand. You can't get one that is left handed, but I have been making do with what I have. So, all right. So this is to show you guys how I've got it set up, um, what my key bindings are, and how I use it in a gameplay. All right, so let us begin. Um, kiddo. So let us go into options first, and let us go to controls, and then remap controls, and then we go to flights. All right, so um, these flight sticks are actually plug and play, um, but to make sure that the game detects uh, detects it, make sure that it is already connected to your PC. All right, um, otherwise, you know, um, you'll just be stuck playing with the uh, keyboard, all right, or controller for that matter. So you can see that you've got a keyboard and mouse here, controller, and your flight sticks. All right. So the good thing about this is that you can use these two to have it set up. Um, let me just go back. Hang on. Um, back. I uh, just want to show you. Okay. So when you have these uh, sticks connected, you're going to have it as flight stick one device and flight stick two device. So uh, my main one that I have here which is a uh, flight stick device one oh, one device is uh, highlighted as you can see here it's highlighted and it's the right stick this one that i'm using uh, as you can see i've got a sticker here marking it as my main uh, stick controlling um, the ship for the most part okie doke so let's go back to remap controls and then let's go to flights and let's go to flight stick all right so contextual interactions basically your action button um, would be your number one button which is this one the trigger okay i don't know if you guys can see it yeah i yeah okay so it's basically the trigger this one right here um okay and you've got pitch up pitch down so this one's the yeah pitch up and pitch down um your right and your left and then you've got the roll this one you've got roll right and roll left all in this stick right here that's where i uh use the directions for the ship now for throttle as you can see um you notice that the joystick has one and two on them so this one uh, indicates that my throttle is in my second controller which is controller number two um so you've got throttle increase which is up and down throttle decrease okay um boost goes into the trigger button of my second stick right uh, and uh, drift while boosting is actually uh, holding the um, the trigger button all right uh, right so my auxiliaries are right here I've got three it's button number three and then yeah, uh, my right auxiliary is button number four, this one. And then my countermeasures are button six in stick one. Okay. 
and then yeah my power management is um designated over to my um yeah to my left stick which has the boost and controls the throttle so it's on the hat right here so it's pov left to maximize power um pov uh, sorry engine power and then um, pov up when i flick it up it switches to the weapon power and this one's for the shield when i flick um, right now to balance down power i just flick it down all right this one right here flick it down and yeah what else do i have here um okay focus shields and power converter is in stick two which is um stick two and then the third button or button number three mm, and what else uh, i think that that's it the other um key mapping or key binding that you would have is going to be you know up to you on how you customize your controls okie dokie uh what else uh, boost yeah i think that is just about it so yeah let's get into um practice mode and into the game all righty so we're going into practice and training uh let's use new republic and difficulty setting would be ace okie doke here we go So it's just loading up guys ah she blows all right so for this i will be using a y-wing all right it is the bomber of the new republic and uh, yeah let's have a go at it It's just launching give it a little wait okay so to show you guys how uh, or where my button mappings are so as I said earlier um, since this is my throttle control all right um, it's just stuck in the uh, middle setting um, unfortunately when I leave it alone it, uh, my ships my ships just gonna you know go forward right uh, middle throttle so I need if I want to really slow down I have to pull down on my throttle stick okay um, so yeah it's as easy as that throttle up throttle down middle and that's it okay so um, next is for the controls as I said earlier this stick controls the ship steering um, so pitch down pitch up okay roll left roll right your left and your right okie doke so uh, next uh, one that I'm going to show you guys is the um, power management so as I said earlier it is controlled by the hat uh, the hat right here so this one maximizes my power as you can see it's all in blue on that um, a gauge right there maximize power so I'm charging my uh, my boost and to show you my boost again it's this button right here I do this I pick it once and I hold on to it so that I can drift and this is how I drift. Woo. And that is how I drift, guys. As you can see. There you go. That is how you drift in the game. So, uh, next one would be my... Alright. This one's power to engines. Uh, flick left. And then flick up. Uh, charges up my weapons and to fire my weapons or my main blasters this one all 
Alright. And this one, of course, flicking left. Uh, uh, sorry, flicking right on the hat. Um, charges my shields. So it brings the power to shields. Okay. I think that is it in terms of the controls that I have set up on my um, Logitech 3D or Extreme 3D Pro uh, joysticks. So let's uh, have a go and um, deploy some enemies to show you how it is in action. Okie dokie. I'm going after this Reaper, firing some missiles, blasting it through, alright, got it, and I just need to get away from the other ships as it is, yeah, depleting my shields, oh wow, okay, hang on. Okay, let's blast these guys away. I'm just gonna get rid of the Reaper again. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Alright, you're not gonna get away from me. Here I go. Ooh. I'm out of range. Just need to get a little bit closer to it. Ooh. Come on. Come on. There you go. Here we go. Now for the TIE Fighters. Did I get it? No. Ooh, alright, got him. How many more enemies left? Oh, there's a few more. Where is that? Where is that? Ooh. Need to get away first. Need to get away. Need to get away. Alright. Ooh, doesn't want to leave my alone. <laughs> Just need to charge my shields. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, that one just rammed me. Okie doke. Come on. Where is it? Come on, come on. Alright, it's health is six. Just to get a good shot at it. Come on. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Alright, so all of the fighters are done. Uh, yeah, I hope this video um, has helped you if you ever actually got dual sticks as well. Uh, easy enough to set up and uh, yeah just uh you know enjoy the game uh that's star wars squadrons and yeah it's me again bj thank you for watching the video i hope it helps you and yeah stay safe everyone bye